Once upon a time, there was a young man named Hector. He was in 10th grade or his sophomore year of high school. Some of the kids at school liked to make fun of him and call him Hector the Molester because he liked to offer kids candy and watch a lot of Nickelodeon. But the truth of the matter was, he was just a nice guy and would never think of committing horrible sexual acts, even though he liked to get naked while he watched SpongeBob SquarePants on his black and white television. Anyway, that's not the problematic element of this story. One day, Hector thought it would be cool to get on Omegle. If all went well, maybe things would develop and he'd make new friends. He took a bunch of pictures of himself smiling and wearing a backwards hat and sporting a t-shirt of his favorite rock group, Creed. He would upload his pictures to TinyPic and link to them in the private Omegle chat rooms. What could possibly go wrong, he pondered using the catchphrase of his favorite video game icon, Bubsy Bobcat. The first few people Hector talked to on Omegle were just normal people. They asked him where he was from, what kind of music he liked, if he enjoyed chocolate chip ice cream. These conversations weren't anything special, but Hector was just happy to talk to people who wouldn't judge him rashly just for being a nice guy to children. But that was when things got really nutty. The next person Hector talked to wouldn't tell him his name, which was okay because there shouldn't have been any pressure like that. After initial greetings, their conversation turned to football. I love it when defensive players get big sacks, the mystery person suggested. Well, okay then. Clearly, the person on the other end was a big football fan, and that was enough for Hector to bond with him, so the mysterious person now seemed comfortable linking to a picture of himself. But as for the picture... The person on the other end looked... disheveled. He had some bright orange hair, baggy bloodshot eyes, and a ghostly white dress shirt with an awkwardly funnel-shaped collar. What was most bizarre about this picture was that the person appeared to be chewing on something. Who in the world shares a picture of themselves chewing on something? Uh, what were you eating? Hector typed into the chat. Hector's heart skipped a beat when he saw the response. It took a couple minutes, but the response to his was horrifying. Balls. Hector paused. His eyes bulged, kind of like a hamster that was being choked by a Transformer robot. Meatballs? No. Gumballs? Nope. Guess again. Uh, nut butter balls? You're getting close. Real close. At this point, Hector was absolutely positively out of ideas. His concern had turned into tedium from this yawn-inducing guessing game. Oh, I give up. What is it? What happened next was impossible to explain. Suddenly the screen changed from text chat to video chat, but that wasn't even the worst part. The webcam on the other end was panning and displaying something so stomach-turning that Hector threw up last night's meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and Coca-Cola dinner. Covering the mystery person's floor was severed scrotums with violet incisions that must have been caused by razor-sharp blades. A bloody mix of testicular matter and gore littered a room that must have smelled worse than the world's laziest butcher's slaughterhouse. The internet sure can be a nutty place. <laughs>